all right guys welcome back to my channel today we went to dave's hot chicken so i got a lot of items because the first time i collabed with steven sushi like the very first video um i kind of want to do this on my channel because i wanted to try everything and um i didn't eat all my food because we had to do so many food videos that day but um i got a chicken sandwich i got light mild um yeah macaroni and cheese i want to try this because there's um, an angry chicks that open up and it's very similar to this. They have all the spicy levels. I got these crinkly fries. I'm gonna show you the chicken sandwich um, more in detail in a second. I also wanted to try a, just a regular tender just to see if that would be different than a chicken sandwich. So I know, I know what to get next time. It comes with some bread. I don't think it's toasted, but it's warm bread. Um, these tenders, it's a light mild. It looks extremely spicy. Oh, that rub. It's one tender, but I got two, I don't know. And then it comes with three pickles. So I'm excited to try that out. It's like a really cool video, really chill video. And guys, I have a story to tell and tell you. Um, a few years ago, I got this crazy customer at Walmart. She complained about me. I don't. I didn't like her attitude. I didn't like the way the management handled it. So that story is coming up. So stay tuned. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try the macaroni and cheese first just because I don't want it to get cold. So yeah, let's try the macaroni and cheese. That's what it looks like. It looks kind of creamy. I don't know if it's spicy, let's try it out. Mmm. That's good. Nice and creamy, saucy. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of El Polo Loco a lot. Mm. I'm actually really hungry. Oh no, it's a, a slightly spicy. Oh no, slightly spicy. Mm. I didn't eat much today. Just the one scrambled egg for breakfast. It's about 5 p.m. right now, so perfect time. I mean, I'm really hungry for this video, so that's really cool. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it's not really that spicy, actually. Hmm. I highly recommend this. Hmm. We have water to drink because I know I'll need it for the spice. So it was like. No mild, no spice, light, mild, and mild. So I got light, mild. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try some of these fries. I, I'm so crunchy. These are good. So when I'm at Team Sushi, we got the sauce in these little cups. So you could usually dip, dip it in. But it comes with these sauce packets. I like the cups better, but he gave me three. So that's really nice of him. Not even asking. I wasn't asked for an extra, but he gave me one for free. So I'm just going to pour the sauce on the fries. So if you guys want to add, I'm in Dublin, California. That's great parking here. Got my order in five minutes. So we're just going to add some sauce. So I just definitely like a lot of sauce on everything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Yeah. It's very similar to, um, raisin cane sauce. I think raisin cane might have a spooky flavor. It's good. Next, we're gonna try the chicken sandwich. So this comes with a bun. The chicken looks spicy, we'll see. I think, oh yeah, the coleslaw, three pickles. I might add more sauce, but I think it, it needs more sauce. It also comes with a stack of pickles. Interesting. 
So yeah, I'm gonna add some of uh, some sauce on here to make it. I don't know. <laughs> do it or something. I do remember when I had it with Steven Sushi, but the first time I ever had this was with I met Steven Sushi. It was a great first meat clap type thing. If you want to see that video, I'm gonna leave that video in the description down below. Um, but I was kind of I was kind of nervous meeting him because of my first time, and I felt like I don't know. Meeting your favorite YouTubers, a really big deal, guys. <laughs> But yeah, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay. Mm. Mm. I like the coastal on here. It's really good. Mm. So far, not too spicy. Oh. These coffee slide, they call these sliders, but they're pretty big sandwiches, I think. <laughs> Need water. <laughs> I think a light mild is good. I can maybe go up to a mild. Maybe. Yeah, light mild isn't really, let's see, almost half done with it or something. I think it's getting kind of spicy, but it's not too bad. Okay. All right, take a little break from that sandwich. I'm almost done, but I wanted to try these chicken tenders in case I get too full, but I'm gonna try one plain and then I'll try it in the sauce. Okay. This is more spicy than the chicken salad. It's really weird. Um, I'm gonna try. That's more spicy. I'm gonna try adding a pickle to it. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the chicken tenders at all. I don't remember if I had that with Steven sushi or not. Maybe I just had the chicken salad. But this was, this was like I think this is like four or five dollars. I think it was five dollars for like a little sample of the chicken tender. This is really spicy. Yeah. I'm thinking they messed up on my order. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so yeah, if you... So they also give you this bread with the chicken tenders, I guess. And try some of the bread. I feel like it's slightly toasted a little bit. It's 
So I think the chicken sandwich and the macaroni and cheese is my favorite. I'm not really big on the chicken tenders, but like I said, I don't know if they messed up on the order. It seems very spiced up to me. So I'm just gonna add some sauce to the more fries and to the chicken. I really like the chicken sandwich a lot. So if I would come, see the reason, one of the reasons why I keep wanting to try all these items is I want to see if I came here again, which one would I get? But I got the chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, macaroni and cheese, you know. Um, Raisin Cane's, um, they do have chicken sandwiches. I've never tried them before. But everybody on YouTube was just do, does the chicken tenders and the fries and it, it was really good that way. Um, this one is actually the chicken sandwich, I think, here. I would get the chicken sandwich here, not the chicken tenders. And they give you a lot of fries. Sorry. They give you a lot of pickles, which is really good. Okay. All right, I'll just finish with the fries and I'll tell you this crazy Walmart story, crazy customer that complained about me. It was crazy. <laughs> These fries are really good though. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I put this down. I guess this story says a really long story. I'm just going to end it with the story. Um, because it's hard, I don't know, I have a hard time talking and telling the story time or eating. I have a lot to say. So basically what happened was I was working at self-checkout, right, at Walmart. And um, I was working with another co-worker. And me and this co-worker, well, this co-worker told the customer that walked just walked in, go to this register. And she's like, no, I'm going to go over here. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. What, why would you, why do you want to go through that register? So we were watching her because we thought it was kind of suspicious, you know? And she, she saw us looking at her. She's like, is there a problem? I'm like, no, I'm, no problem at all. <laughs> they read, and then they read ready to pay. And then the coworker told me, hey, she didn't see on the sodas on the bottom. Oh, really? So I go over there, I go, did you forget to scan the soda? She's like, no, I did not. That That's actually a separate order. She's like, I don't, why are you staring at me? You know, I feel very uncomfortable around you. Are you stalking me? I feel very uncomfortable right now. Like, that's how she was out. She was, you know, I know it's my job to make sure you scan everything. She's like, well, I feel very uncomfortable. Why, why are you here? You, 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 you. She's like, get, get away from me. And she's like, just going crazy. I, oh my god, okay, so I, mean, I, need, I need help. I need to get somebody to help me. I, she's just, she was just so angry. So I go, I knock on the AP's office, no answer. Talk to my manager. Tell them the problem. I said, you know what, just, just go ahead and walk away. Just, just leave, just walk away. Okay, cool, I'm going to walk away. Maybe though, after five minutes or so, I'll just leave. I don't have to worry about them anymore. So I walk all the way to the restroom. Use the restroom, come back. It's been about five minutes at least. I go up there thinking, oh, I hope they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> and they're talking they're talking to a manager two managers like oh my god are you serious so one of the managers comes over so she, she comes over to me like oh my god what does she want she really wants me to tell her me the story tell her the story or whatever she's like the customer would like you to apologize and take her groceries to her car She's like, we're not going to make you take her groceries to her car. We're not going to make you her to do that. But, you know, at least we can do as a company is apologize. I, I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't know that they're wrong, but whatever. So I apologize, right? Like, I'm sorry. And she was like, you need to teach me with respect. I, I need respect. You need to teach me with respect. I, I'm going to call corporate on you, you know. And even though after, even though I apologize, she's still going to call corporate. And I was, and then she left. She's still very upset. And I talked to my manager, and like, am I gonna get in trouble? She's like, corporate on me. Like, am I gonna get in trouble? Like, I was freaking out or something. And she's like, well, I don't know. Well, we didn't see what happened, so I don't, I don't know. Okay, great. So it's almost like she doesn't believe my story or something. 
So I was just kind of nervous, like, you know, what's going to happen, you know, you know, you don't know. She, you know, corporate could be, just let me go. You, you don't know, you know. So I'm back at working at self checkout. And one of the managers pulled the, the co worker next to me and talked to her. I go, what did, what did he tell you? He's like, oh, oh, he just said that they saw the tape, you know, the customer was the, was the aggressive one, not Karen, and everything's fine. Just you just gotta be aware of customer's feelings. And I was thinking that's kind of why are you telling the, why are you telling the coworker and not me? Like I'm freaking out. Am I okay or not? Like am I gonna get fired? Like it's just like. And the next day, I just was really angry. Like I just you know like something bad happens to you. The next day, you process it more and you just get more angry. And I just, it reminded me of like a little kid, like a little 10 year old kid, you know, I did something wrong and had to apologize. And management has, does not said anything to me like, oh, I'm sorry if this happened to you, Karen, or they didn't say anything, you know, um, or we saw the tape and she was an aggressive person. So don't worry, don't worry, Karen, you're not going to trouble. They didn't say anything to me like that. And it would have been nice. They had my back. That's the problem I had with them. So the was a big issue with the customer, how she treated me. I so still, I'm better now, but then two days after, I just felt so like emotionally like um, abused by the customer. Like, I don't, I don't know, but this is my job. And this is my job. And if I don't do what, if I don't do my job, AP's on me like that. They just get so mad at me. And it's like, but they don't have, they don't have my back. They don't, they don't sit, tell me, oh, you Karen, you did, you did everything you did was right. No problem. They didn't, they didn't talk to me or nothing. So they was so angry. And this, but that's why I'm tell you guys my story time. But a lot of people like to know, want to know a good story time or good, what's you, what's the worst customer you had at Walmart. I've had a bad customer. Actually, ever since I started Walmart like a year ago, I have not had one bad customer. This is the first bad customer I've had. And it makes me want to like not watch them. It makes me want, if I work at self check, it makes me want to think, okay, I'm not going to watch them. I'm not going to, if this, if they're gonna, it makes me want to just distill them. You know, <laughs> like, I don't, and no, but curious guys, all, so as a cashier, to see if you guys want to work at Walmart, as a cashier, um, you are required to do a self checkout. You can't just say, no, I don't want to do it. And not, all the cashiers hate self checkout, mainly because of the customers I'm being just crazy. But anyway, so I tell you a little story time about Walmart and what happened. I'm 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 getting over it. I'm I'm pretty much like ninety percent over it, but I'm still emotionally what do you call it? Um just upset, I guess. <laughs> but anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Dave's hot chicken video. Um it was actually really good, but uh, the chicken sandwich was really good. For some reason I liked it better when I'm at Steven's sushi, but Maybe it's my first time having it and it was, you know, you know, your first time having something that's like really good than the second time. I'm not sure. But um, in a few weeks, I want to try, we have a new restaurant called Angry, Ch Angry Chicks. And uh, it's very similar to where you can choose your spice levels on the ch chicken and they have chicken tenders. I want to compare that and they compare the macaroni and cheese and just get, get everything I got today. And if you want to add a slider, one slider. I think it's like four or five dollars or you want to have one one chicken tender it's like four or five so you can you could definitely you know try different options if you want but um thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next video all right peace <laughs>